innovative. Ladies and gentlemen of the California Trap Trinity, hold on to your cush blunts and your lace fronts. This is your number one choice for entertainment. Come on. It's your boy that always shine and keep the promos right on time. That's right, the promo king himself, product five stacks and count. You already know who it is. It's your girlfriend's favorite cameraman, Respect the Shooter. And you are listening to Cali's Finest on Power Radio Nation, broadcast live on iHeartRadio. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, the California Trap Trinity Compton, Long Beach, Los Angeles. Hold on to your lace fronts and your cush blunts. This is your number one choice for entertainment. Cali's finest radio authorized by the people. And this is your boy that's back for more promos hot and always score. That's right. The promo king himself. Product five stacks and counting and i am the inmate running this cuckoo's nest and we're broadcasting on power radio nation on over 50 platforms around the world to the millions and millions and millions of ears to get their daily dose of the scrapes my boys the innovative cultures on visuals and i know they got me today's rise and grind quote okay this comes from tupac shakur remember one thing through every dark night, there's a bright day after that. So no matter how hard it get, stick your chest out, keep your head up, and handle it. Now, I feel like that is definitely a quote that we can attribute to everybody around this table. We don't always, we don't all experience those dark days. We don't all had those times when we didn't even feel like getting out of bed in the morning. Like we didn't even want to function. But we sat there and we thought to ourselves, what's the alternative? Go out there and knock niggas in their head, put holes in niggas. Steal from niggas, you know what I'm saying? You know, get that that negative energy out, you know what I'm saying? By being a, a negative to society, you know what I mean? Or do what you do best. Pick yourself up, stick your fucking chest up, you know what I'm saying? Chin up, and you walk right headlong into the fucking storm. Because the storm, let's never forget that the storm is always the quietest in the eye of that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Gotta make your way to the middle of it. Mm-hmm. But you got to get through all of the you gotta get through all of the gale and the, the winds and the rain and you gotta get through all the failure. You know what I'm saying? Cause you can't make a couple you can't make millions without what a couple L's, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I just felt like that was definitely a quote that we could use today and I think will benefit everybody. But let's get to my star studded cast today. Okay, this man right here on the left side of me, let me tell you something. This dude's whole life is a movie. And got every chick begging and screaming, saying, please shoot me. I'm talking about my best friend and my co-host, everybody's favorite cameraman, Respect the Shooter. What's good, bro? What's up, brother? How man, you doing? Man, chilling, chilling, man. Happy, working uh, hard, working hard. Happy Father's Day. You happy know, Father's Day. Past, uh, happy past Father's Sunday. Day. Yes, Shout yes. out to all the fathers out there. Yes, indeed. Cam, uh, this is my camera right here, Cam? There all right, is. making sure, bro. <laughs> How y'all doing? Love when you do that. My name is uh, Respect the Shooter. You can find me on Instagram at Ford the Boys Films. That's Ford, like the car. Beep, beep. Boys with an S, films with an S. But if you really want to find Come me, on now. you can find me at hashtag your girlfriend knows my real name. <laughs> but you have to address me as Respect, Respect the, the shooter. shooter. And I have my own quote, brother. Come on, what you and got? And it's from the Bible. Okay. It's Proverbs 25, 24. It is better to live in the corner of an attic than to live in a house with a quarrelsome wife. Woman. Yeah, that's Take facts. that with you. That's a fact. God said it. You, you know, my, my thing is, is that I, I just, you know, I was watching something today. I was watching something today. This is a quick side note. I'm not going to take too long. This. I was watching something today, and it was this female, and she was kind of talking about um, how, um, how women tend to pull men down for their living circumstances, not even knowing how they got in those circumstances. Like there was a lady, it was a TikTok video talking about um, some person that commented that their uncle was 50 years old, still living with grandma. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't know what that person's situation is. You know what I'm saying? That person could be mentally ill. Um, They could just be taking care of, you know what I'm saying, their siblings or or their family member. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of different reasons why a man might not be up like he's supposed to at a certain age. You know what I mean? And you just got to be mindful who you judge, man, because you never know what somebody going through. You dig? Yeah, but there's some lazy niggas out there. It is. It is. Nothing. Shiftless, yeah. You know, don't want to do nothing. No, no, that's you a know? fact. So, no. But it is fucked up. Back when I was uh, trying to 
be serious with with these broads. Mm. They was uh, I went on to getting to know somebody. And she was like, uh, she was like, you got a job? I was like, yeah. She was like, you got a car? I said, yeah. She said, where you stay? I'm staying with my mom. I was like, I stay with my mom right now. And she was like, oh, I don't know if I can date no nigga to stay with his mom. I nah. said, you got a job? <laughs> she said, no. I said, you got a car? She said, no. Where you live? I said, where you stay? With my grandma? Come on, Bitch, man. how dare you? Nah, I'm sorry, y'all, but how dare you have these high standards you. and you have nothing at all? You know, they get mad when we ask the question, what do they bring to the table? When what they bring to the table is fucking potato salad with raisins in that motherfucker. Oh, yeah. I don't fucking want that shit. You know what I'm saying? Take that shit somewhere else, bro. It, bro. I'm, I'm going to ask you a question, brother. Yeah. Let's say you rich, right? Yeah. Rich. Ten yeah. bedrooms. Okay. Say like, uh, let's say seven bathrooms. Okay. You got a pool. You got Ballin. a game room. Ballin. There's a pool table in there. It's okay. a bowling alley. All right. You even got a helipad up there. Okay, All right. You got everything. You move a woman there, right? You tell her everything is hers. She just can't go in this one room. As soon as you go to sleep, where she you think she's going? She's going in the get? fucking room. Absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt. She that's where she going. Ten bedrooms. She wants to go in that room. <laughs> I say, ain't nothing but filing cabinets in there, baby. Ain't nothing but my old files. They want to go check in the filing cabinet, see if it's a bitch in the filing cabinet. <laughs> I'm, I'm a hiding in that motherfucker. But anyway, so all right, so now let me get I to my guess sir. All right, go ahead, let me get to my guess around the table. <clears throat> this gentleman across the way. Let me tell you something. It's, this is a year, almost a year in the making. Me and this man finally get to sit down. This nigga stay moving, always busy. Y'all know how I get down. I'm always moving around. And now we finally done brought it together. This shit is like the Avengers coming together, taking out Thanos in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? I want everybody to welcome to the Trap Trinity mobbing 101. What's up, man? How you feeling? Oh, man. I'm proper, man. Thank you for having me, man. I'm top. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Finals, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's where we at, man. I'm glad to have you. We're going to get into uh, everything you got going on. And I also want to see how you feel about some things going on in the world, too. You know oh, what yeah, I'm saying? We Most could definitely. We could do it. Now, this other gentleman on my panel right here, bro, this shit is like, bro, like, man, how long does shit go? Because I've known you for almost 20 years. So I've known him, May for almost 20 years. Yeah. So this gentleman right yeah, bro. It's a real talk. So this gentleman right here, this man, he's an artist, man, an activist. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just overall, man, a good father. Hey man, mm -hmm. I'm a whole bunch of whole lot of things, yeah. man. Thank you, Stack. Solid, man. I appreciate you, bro, bro. That's I appreciate it. First and foremost, dog, proud of you, man. Thank you, bro. First and foremost. So can I give you your flowers real quick? Hey, go ahead. Can I give you your flowers real quick? I hate when do. Hey go man, ahead. I know y'all, yeah, yeah. He real humble and all that. He hate to do it. This bro. Thank you. This is my guy. I, I man, you. I'm I proud you, of you, bro. brother. I Thank you for you, having bro. me. Thank oh, you for yeah, having me. Now you can continue introducing me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just did that right there, yeah, man. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's good to have you up here, man. Good Thanks to have you up here, bro. my nigga. Definitely. Well, Sean Allen, by the way. You didn't even yeah, say it's Sean name. Allen. That's management. Yeah, Sean Allen in the fucking building, man. You're fantastic. Okay, so. Um, we keep our fingers on the pulse and we always get results here at Cali's Finest. And what I like to do a thing is called Trap Activity. Okay, now Trap Activity is where we kind of talk about what's going on in, you know what I'm saying, in our own backyard and the hoods around us and beyond. You know what I'm saying? Because you've been all over the place, mommy. So, you know what I'm saying? You know the news changes from state to state. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so let's get into it. Now, top story, that sunken submarine. Okay, now I'm, we're not gonna sit here and you know and debate how, why it collapsed and why this happened and why that happened. Why they go out there? They're white. Okay, they went out there. All right. <laughs> so, I, but what I want to talk about is, did y'all know that days before this occurred, that over 700 Greeks in, were in a uh, were in were trying to migrate, uh, trying to immigrate from the country, and the boat capsized. Over seven, almost seven hundred, almost seven hundred lives lost mm. on that boat. Mm. Y'all didn't know about that, did y'all? Right? Because they're not promoting that, right? right? They're not putting that out there. Yeah. But lo and behold, we got what four or five fucking millionaires, right? And they go down with the ship in that submarine in a place that you know these migrant people probably were going for better opportunity, better lives, you know, trying to do something different with their lives. Right. These people were just bored. With their money and decide, okay, I'm gonna go visit somewhere that they really have no business fucking going. So my question to y'all, and I'm gonna start with you, Marvin. Do you do you think that that I mean we know the answer to this, but do you think that there's a certain like standard? Like, do they even give a fuck when people of color end up in situations where you know these tragedies, bro? It just doesn't seem like they care. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
you know, the other day I was talking to somebody about something like this, and I often feel like, one, you're right. Many of them don't care. They don't, you know bro. what I'm saying? And if they do, they only care about the individuals that they care about. You That's know what I'm talking fact. about? Or, you know, as they say, their investments. Yeah. Mm. You know? That's real. That's real. It's all about the investments. 100%. You know I mean? If they can capitalize on it, you know what I mean? They're going to care about it. If not, they done with it. It's done by the wayside. No, that's real. That's why I ask you, as a black one black person to another, when you hit your first billion mark, it's coming. When you hit your billion mark, are you getting on a submarine and going eighty thousand leagues under the sea and going to go visit the fucking Titanic? Are you doing that? Nah, nah, right. So you know what I'm saying. So I mean, I, you know, people. A lot of people use the excuse of the money. It's it's I, it's something missing inside of you when you feel you got to put that much on the line just to go see that. Right. You know what I'm saying. Um, Marcus, give me your opinion on this. Hey, I'm with my I'm with my guy right here. I'm not going twenty leagues under the sea. I'm cool. No, you know what I'm saying, man. Right, the, the the ship is sank. It's done. It's over with. I'm cool. It's I'm rusty, not going twenty leagues. Yeah, I'm cool. But I'm they cool. saying it's a uh, it's, it's going to be uh, the salt water is going to eat it up in the next couple weeks. That's why. That's probably why they wanted to see it before. Because I, th- I think I think it's, it's, it's certain things like okay. The thing was, um, I don't know. Rick Ross had, had put out a uh, a whole little thing where he said they should have had a tether from the submarine to the ship mm-hmm. that would have, you know what I'm saying? If there was a, a you know what I'm saying, where they could put out like some sort of like, hey, uh, 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 yeah. you know, oh, we're, we're sinking, you know what I'm saying? I mean, but do you even need that? Are we in the age of the, Yes, yes, they're and... going down under the That's ocean. True. Like, there's a lot of, you know, I mean... Uh, I can't speak. Yeah, I ain't never been twenty leagues under the sea, so I can't speak. People on have it, done it. The dude who uh, directed Titanic did it. So I just think they whatever equipment they had wasn't up to date. Bro, but I think I, it was just on some BS. Nigga, they was control. Have y'all seen what the fuck they was controlling the submarine? They said it was a like a, a video game control, yeah. controller. Man. They should have had like a, a tether though. from the submarine to a boat that was on right. the top of the ocean, and then if something went wrong, to where they can pull them back, like. You know, why do white folks always like? And that's the question. My white that's folks, the question. I'm not no, dissing. no, no, you're not wrong. I don't that's understand. The question. Like, that's the question. Why they always want to do shit that like presses like you always want to put your life on the line to feel a thrill. If yeah, I want to feel sickness. a thrill, I'll right. find a random thrill bitch sickness. and go and go thrill raw sickness. with no condom. If I want to feel, <laughs> if I want to feel a rush, if I want to feel dangerous, <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> That's what the fuck I do. Okay. I run, I go down on Fig. I go down on Fig. <laughs> I go on Fig and I wave around a water five hundred dollars and up in the air with a red shirt on, nigga, screaming, "Come and get it!" For a fucking rush, nigga. I'm not going twenty thousand leagues under the sea. Eighty percent of the sea has not been discovered. Eighty percent. NASA was originally created. For sea exploration. They said, fuck that. We going up in the space. Cause that shit down there, nigga, they still got pre prehistoric creatures in the <laughs> fucking water. The variables down there. Too much. Y'all know what's going on down there. And niggas man. don't like we don't like that shit no way. We don't fuck with that we Absolutely. Don't, I, I, I hate to be putting stereotypes on my people. But we don't fuck with water like that, my nigga. Like yeah, we shower. Like that. But we don't fuck with water like that, my nigga. Not like that, that my nigga. I go swimming, but it's I'm like, like out of all the years. Out of all the years, like you said, you said that they believe that it's getting ready to the be salt gone. Water, the salt water to about to eat it up, yeah. Because that was the, okay. Just, let Why me y'all to go clear. last year? Let me just make let me, year let, before that. Clear, let me just make this clear. So they were, they, were, they were going to, <laughs> they were going down <laughs> to see the Everybody Titanic. Right? Yeah. They were going down to see the wreckage of the Titanic. Okay. Okay. So the Titanic has been sunk down at the middle of the ocean for how long? Nigga. For a very long time. Yeah. yeah. So that's been what. sitting down yeah. at the bottom of the ocean. The Atlantic Ocean was a very cold. That's what I'm saying. Like, like you know, why you didn't go last year? You this, <laughs> well, I mean, you can, you can look at the pictures, bro. You can look at the pictures. Like, why you got to go see it? But with all the technology, they could send a robot down there to get some footage. I could footage just Google this, yeah, like, just, got all like, You know white people like to do that. I just want to I just want to see it. I just want to touch it. I just want to touch the deck. Remember they were sending people in the... I just want to see the deck. Uh, Karen, Karen, I just want to see the deck. Remember they were sending people into space yeah. and a lot of the rich people went up there Come on. and did that? Yeah. That's a cold ordeal, too. Yeah, you feel me? Even just like... like like, the fact that we got Biden in office, I mean, like, don't get hey, it twisted, hey, you feel hey, me? God rest Everybody souls, got their job. Because I heard, I heard all of them died, so I heard all of them passed away, so God rest their souls. 
I don't know. That's what I heard was the official report. Oh from yeah, the, oh, that, no. submarine. They, they, yeah, they, they, they got the the pieces of the submarine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't hear there. that. Yeah, so man. God rest their souls. To their families. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, All that. For real. But at the same time, you know, it's just when you start pushing the envelope too much, you know what I'm saying? That's what like, and that's what happens, man. You know? That's what they do, man. You know, no shade to my white folks, but man, stop <laughs> being stupid. All right, so we finna go. So we finna go ahead and go to break. All right, um, we got my boy Mobbit 101. Off time, you know what I'm right? saying? We about to get this nigga music started. Right, you know what I mean? Solid, bro. This is Stack Smooth Sounds. If you'd like to hear your music played on this platform, then please email me at Cali's Finest Radio 1 at gmail.com. You can also uh, get at me on Instagram, 5 Stacks underscore showcase. All right, this is Stack Smooth Sounds. All right, featuring Mobbit 101. It's up, it's stuck, and they Hold never on, coming down. Mm-hmm. California's finest Hold radio. On, before we go yo, out, bro, I just yo, gotta say, look, on? artists, you have to invest in yourself for real yeah you have to bro and what y'all don't understand when you play for when you get your stuff played on the radio there's get back i don't know if it's 10 20 cent whatever it is but you're getting some type of money back it's It's not just you just paying for nothing and not getting nothing back in return all that you have to you have to pay for promotion you have to pay for videos you have to pay for photography you have to pay for everything nothing comes free Gotta pay the cost to be the boss. Bro, all that being said, all that. You send your man. music all in. That. We send will promote it. Real talk. It might cost you a little. Hey. It might cost, cost you a lot. lot. But damn it, it's, it's gonna, gonna cost, cost you. you. Yes, sir. Go ahead, bro. All right. It's up and stuck. It ain't never coming down. Cali's finest radio. Pay that nigga. Let's yeah. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop this, my I keep going in slow, thinking about the days we was rocking. Even though the shorties was jocking, I was on the block locking. Third and long locking. 22s, 24s, baby, we was squatting. Focus teams knocking. You and your girls was vibing. Thick frame, pretty face, baby, had me smiling. She lived in the A, but was made of Long Island. Bloody bottom, Louis purse, queen for surely styling. How you moving, Grace, in any place? Your feelings got me out of space. You got the cream, I want the cake. These stroke, the arches great. Nicoya from Empire State. They strode for cheesecake. Popped our shit and smoked it out. West to East, bang it out. We want the bag, they want the cloud. Global mob and mogul now. Love the way you hold it down. Through the rain, you shot your crown. Circles, obstacles. You cute with that square shit. The way you weigh your hair, switch your hips. But you know that I trip. Yeah, I can't stop this, my shit, baby. I keep going back. I can't stop this, my shit, baby. I keep going back. Tell me what you like, baby. Tell me what you like. Love the way you ride. Yeah, the pussy grip me tight. You throw it back, make a square waterfall. Such a turn on Niagara Falls. Mommy dropped and draws you in my ear. I hear you coming on. At the Garden Warriors and Knicks. Central Park taking flicks. Five star type chicks. Martin loving and rich. Put the buck 50 a bitch and push start all foreign whips. My baby. I need your back, love and loyalty intact. I got the blue smoke crypto. Offshore, baby, Ethereum and crypto. We getting fatty. Let's toast over lobster and spaghetti. Rose, Chris, I got you. My, there's plenty. Many a few. I need you, boo. I hope you feel the same, too. You the realest in that walk of the meanest. Sexy type like Angie Martinez. And on Tuesday, Jamaica ass. Are you getting in that jean bag? Spent the block, cause I couldn't let you pass. Tuesday, Jamaica ass. Are you getting in that jean bag? Spent the block, cause I couldn't let you pass. I be going in, son. Okay, men, this is your time. Maybe you didn't choose this, but you're here now. You're going to go out there and be an all-star caregiver. It's up to you. So what are you going to do? You're going to go grocery shopping, cook, clean, be there emotionally and physically. you got to dig deeper. Drive them to physical therapy, doctor's appointments. Don't you forget about the pharmacy. I know you won't because that's what caregivers do. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. This is your time to show the world, your family, and yourself that you're tougher than tough. Now go out there and be the best caregiver this world has ever seen. Caregiving is tougher than tough. Find the care guides you need at aarp.org. 
slash caregiving. A public service announcement brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. Hi, I'm Danica Patrick and proud aunt. Watching my nieces grow, play, and learn is amazing, but not every child gets to be carefree. One in six kids in the U.S. are hungry. One in six. That little girl sitting alone at the playground, she can't play like the other kids. She doesn't have the energy because she's hungry. School lunch will be her only meal today. It breaks my heart that this is the reality in our country, but it's something that Feeding America is working to change. Each year, the Feeding America network of food banks rescues billions of pounds of good food that would have gone to waste. This food is then provided to families and children in need. Being a kid should be about using your imagination, learning, and having fun. These children shouldn't have to miss out on simply being a kid because they're hungry. To find out how you can help end childhood hunger in your community, visit feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Okay, so we just got done listening to a public service announcement. I want to make a hold on, hold on, bro. I think we're we just just then. I'm sorry. Uh, you sure you want me to say that? Uh, the the viewers are saying get rid of those Caucasian commercials. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care. I'm gonna tell y'all like I told y'all those, last week. Those that marshmallow the commercials. The caucasity will continue. <laughs> Okay, because those are the sponsors that pay your boy. Shaq, man, come on, man. Come on, bro. Hit us up, bro. That's a fact. But listen, hey. so I got a quick purpose service announcement. Now, Father's Day just recently passed. Okay, now I think we've already kind of solved the problem of women coming on social media and saying, oh, happy Father's Day to me. I think a lot of them understand it's enough females that stand up against that now. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the only way. I hope you gentlemen understand. That's the only way that women are ever going to be checked on. Anything that they ever do as a whole in society is when other women check them. Did you imagine a, looking yeah, at your, Did you imagine going through your Instagram and you, and you uh, scrolling and a dude say, "Happy Mother's, Happy Day, Mother's to Day to me"? I'm, the I'm only mama one here. and daddy. Now, first off, I'm thinking like, you suspect. What are you talking saying about, bro? I, I, you mighty suspect because well, you. Why would you want to be a mom, my nigga? Like on every day, you know, vagina yeah. envy or something. Choice. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But what I wanted to bring up before we get into this good old mobbing one-on-one music is why the fuck, why we can't just have our day? Why can't we have our day? That I, like on every other fucking holiday during the course of the year, we have to take a back seat every year. Christmas, we got to take care of the brats, make sure the brats get what they want. I mean that lovingly. You know what I'm saying? Got to make sure the brats get what they need. Make sure the wife get what she wanted, Birkins, whatever the hell she wanted, whatever. Because you know she's going to give you hell all year long if you don't get her what the fuck she wanted for Christmas. All right? You know what I'm saying? The what, what We got Mother's Day. They already got Mother's Day. They got Mother's even get fucking Valentine's Day. Because we going to get the same fucking pussy we get every fucking year. Right? <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? So, everything is geared towards that. You know? And I just feel like, damn, like, we don't want to tamper with y'all day. But you know, so let us have our shit. Like let us. Father's Day is uh number twenty on the most celebrated holiday. That's holidays. crazy, bro. We are after Halloween and St. Patrick's that Day, bro. That is fucking bananas. Mother's Day is number two. Where is where does Christmas? Where does June? Wait, wait, hold on. I'm gonna get back because I want to. Let me let me ask Mobbin something. First, let me get to this because I want to know something about Juneteenth. So we, it's good we talk about holidays. Okay, so Mobbin, now. Oh, what a- You've been all over the place, bro. Like, you you move like crazy, right? I'm always seeing you dropping content. The reason why I'm so, I was so interested to sit down and have this conversation with you, was that always the plan to just create so much content and drop it the way you do? Or was that just a byproduct of you moving around? Was this strategic? Oh, no, yeah, it always was a plan. Okay. Always mm. was a plan, you feel me? Like, for me... You know, I use the same hustle that I use in the streets and that I use in football, you feel me? Ah. So, you know, when you sleep, I'm working. When you working, I'm working. You know what I mean? I'll sit on some content. I you heard that. I mean? yeah. you got, yeah. Right? You got I'll it. sit on you schedule you your content. I can make you think I can make you think I'm in Vegas and I haven't been there in three months. No you know what I'm shit. saying? Like that's yeah. that's what it's all about, is it's knowing how to where, use Where you from, bro? I'm from the Bay. I'm from East Palo Alto. Yeah, yeah, so you said the swag, you can, you can oh, tell. Yeah. Bay nigga. I can hear it now since you said the Bay, yeah. <laughs> 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 like, okay. Yeah. Okay, for sure. Who you listen to growing up? Mm. Besides okay. people besides the Bay. 
size the bay. I mean, yeah. of course, you know, I grew up on the old school. You feel me? You know, I rock with the East Coast tough. You feel me? I rock with the locks. You know what I mean? Okay. You know, Jada. You feel me? Okay. Gas. Same you know what I mean? Locks, bro. And I don't mean to interrupt your conversation, but bro, the locks. Oh <laughs> yeah, for yes, sure. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, what about the what about that West Coast flavor? Because I know you fuck with Kelly. Oh yeah, of course. You feel me? Pot. You know what I mean? Happy birthday, Pac. You Happy feel me? And you know, congrats too, Happy man. Birthday, you know what I mean? Who was rocking on the star earlier? Uh, you know, Snoop. You know, uh, yeah, yeah. Mess. You right. feel me? For sure, for sure. We, we gotta Ain't get no Mess and Marv right. Too, though, bro. Yeah. Who's your oh, favorite yeah. growing up? Man, besides Homegrown, you feel me? You know, Big Cuz OG Carter, thirteen hundred. Mm. You know, uh, Scoop. You know. I have to say mess for real. Messy more. Okay. What about Mac Dre? Oh yeah, I mean of course, you know, Mac Dre, you feel me, you know, that's a great you feel me, R. I. P. You know what I mean? But you know, mess was a you know, that's that's a different type of caliber though, right there. You feel me? One more question, brother. Uh what song did you listen to that made you say, I wanna I wanna try this out? Rapper. First song I have to say for real. It was, uh, I think it was J.O. Felony. Mm. <laughs> yeah, my dad was, my dad was blasting some old school J.O. Felony. It was, uh, Bubba, really what was that bang. joint, bro? He really from uh, the bay. Yeah. <laughs> you know it, too. It's, it's, it's that common joint, too. J.O. Felony. Is it, uh, I can give it to you for what you got. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 That was yeah. it? And that made you want to start writing? Damn. As a kid, you feel me? It was just like, all right. That's what's know, up. I never I heard that one. I think i with it. You feel somebody me? Say, somebody somebody say, like, Jay-Z or... That's the first time I ever heard that one, bro. Can I, can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? E-40. What's what's E-40 from, from your opinion, bro, bro? For the Bay. What has E-40 done for the Bay? Oh, man. You know, 40 didn't go ahead and, you know, he didn't put on, you feel me? He on. has really put on, you feel me, Come on, on top, Ooh. you know what I mean? I yeah. know he being honored at the BET Awards, you feel me? Yeah. So, you know, that's, that's definitely on, a pleasure, bro. you feel me? We yeah. need that, mm. you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, you know, 40 is a fixture, you feel yeah. me? It, it's... You know, he a walking almanac, you feel me? One Off top, you know what I mean? That was hard. Uh, walking almanac. Oh, that was sure. hard. He a walking almanac. That was hard. For, for our travelers yes, and sir. people that want to go check out the bay, where where don't they go? Oh, man, you feel me? You don't you don't go anywhere that you don't know anybody. Yep. You feel me? Well, damn. I'll say that. Don't go don't anywhere go that you don't know anybody. You know what I'm saying? I feel you on that. I went uh, up there. Cause it was, but, of yeah. course, you know, like anywhere, you feel me, you know? You just got to be cool, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Respectful. You know what yeah, I mean? Respectful. Keep yeah, your head yeah. on the swivel, you feel me? Don't be scared, you know what I'm saying? Be aware. Yeah. That's all. That's the difference. You feel me? Don't never be scared. Just always be aware. Where the party at out there? Oh, man, you feel me? You can just find it, you know what I mean? Of course, you know, slide to the O, you know what I mean? Frisco, off top. Can I say something real yeah. quick? Not to cut you off, G, but you the coolest Bay nigga I'd ever heard in my <laughs> life, bro. Like, Bay niggas usually be turnt. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you know what I'm saying? But you like a bay nigga on a different level, bro. Like, oh, I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, my for real, bro. No, like, I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah. You know I mean? Hey, y'all, y'all tap in with bro, bro. Yeah, definitely. I got some partners that's like that. You feel me? Some real live wires, you feel me? Yeah, but of course, yeah, you know. It's yeah. like that. It's like that everywhere you go though. Cause I'm sure some bay niggas will say that about some of us West Coast niggas. Like, y'all niggas is turned up, nigga. I can't wear this color, that color. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it just depends on the situation scenario, mm -hmm. who you dealing with. So to stay on the point with the music for a second, I want to ask this now. Okay, so quick note, this is the first time in about 15 to 20 years that there hasn't been a single hip hop song, rap song, excuse me, hasn't been a single rap song number one on the charts. Mm. It's, we already like halfway, damn near midway through 2023 and we haven't had a single number one rap album. Now, you usually get at least one that's like one of them little catchy joints, a lean with it, rock with it, or a Black Beatles, or, you know what I'm saying? One that everybody taps in with. Mm -hmm. It kind of transcends. We haven't had that yet. Marvin, do you think that, do you think that that's indicative of the music game today? That maybe the music just, now outside of what you create, and, and shout out to all my, my artists that I deal with, but mm -hmm. do you think that that's a criticism on the music today that maybe is just not as good in the mainstream eye and that's why we haven't had one of those this year 
I mean, for real, uh-huh. it all just come down to the decision makers. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, it mm-hmm. just come down to the decision makers. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Whatever they want. That's what it's gonna yeah, be. Real shit, because I hear a lot that. of banging music. It's a lot of banging music, like, and I'm not just talking about from the West Coast. Like, I hear a lot of. I, I'm bumping the artists from everywhere, mm-hmm. and it's a lot of banging music. I shout out to Chiz Capo and, and uh, SK the Great, you know, from Boston. Fantastic music, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it just like you said, I, the decision makers, they just you know the people that's sitting on that button, they decide what they're gonna pass through mm-hmm. and what they're not. You know, right. you know what I'm saying so I just kind of want as an artist that's in the now and that's actually like relevant like kind of ask what your thoughts were it's no slight on, on any your music or anybody music anybody putting out but I just thought that that was crazy that yeah, we haven't seen real. a number one joint rap joint yet man. so maybe hey, maybe it's, they waiting on you know what I'm saying maybe I'm, they waiting on you baby man you feel me you know I'm gonna do it you know what I mean and the fact you know Thug just dropped last night you feel me so yeah. you know who knows you who know what I'm saying we'll see you know what I mean Free Thug off top Young Thug? Young Thug, right? Okay. Off top. Yeah. So we dropped that from prison? Yeah. Yeah? Well, off yeah, top. Him and Metro Lanes. Booming. Off top. Him and Metro Booming. Off top. Tory Lanez yeah. just dropped an yeah. album from prison. Hold on. I didn't, I didn't know that. I didn't yeah. even cut it. No, you straight. What? Yeah. Okay. I ain't to tap. Y'all tap in Young Thug. Real yeah, shit. For sure. Okay, yeah, so. Free Thug, man. So now, let me ask Let me ask y'all niggas this. Okay. <laughs> Do y'all know about the Kamora Lee Simmons and Russell Simmons thing going on right now? Yeah, I heard about it. Okay, so we so this is yet another hip hop culture icon getting destroyed, mm. getting destroyed Go by a sig- by a former significant other. So my take on this, and then I want to get your opinions on this. My take on this entire thing: you cannot sit here and seriously tell me not for one single solitary fucking second that Kamora Lee Simmons has more money than Russell Simmons or. The, there's no fucking way. Bitch, he helped you create baby fat. You know what I'm saying? He put you in the driver's seat. Russell Simmons is synonymous with hip-hop culture. P- period. Like, he's one of those names that you have mentioned when you talk about hip-hop, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The, I, the origination of it, the growth of it. If he didn't exist, it's a lot of niggas that wouldn't be, that would have never had careers. No, if not for Russell, you know what I'm saying? If not for Russell Simmons. Nas, Nas let niggas know, man. Cream's where you niggas ask Russell Simmons. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's a lot of respect. Well, what think? Well, it's been years. So... What was she talking about? What was well, it? Okay, so well, I heard basically, the daughter say he wasn't doing. Something. It was his daughter. His daughter. It was he, his daughters. It wasn't on even his June baby mama. It on was June his, June can June I June. jump in yeah. real quick? Yeah. If heard, that's okay. Yeah, I know his daughter said it was his daughters. That's the ones who jumped on their uh, social even, media. It's Father's Day, she did that. The daughters. That was the thing. That was the thing. That was the thing. Yeah, he didn't take care of them. They said. They Well, he's been taking care of his babies financially, of course. Of course. You know what I'm saying? So he's been doing that. But he, I guess. As far as his daughters has been saying, he hasn't been doing it, uh, what, uh, mentally or something, I guess. The man has been making the money. He didn't, his daughter, he had a daughter just graduated from Harvard. <laughs> then his other daughter graduated from oh, NYU. Yeah. He paid everything, he paid the entire college um, tuition. They both graduated, you know what I'm saying? And Russell was paid for everything. I believe but it. I guess the man hasn't been. I guess they're not like mentally or like I don't know. Uh, like, I mean, listen, I, listen. The whole thing is, is that Kamora Lee sat there and clowned this man because he'd been posting pictures of them looking like they their relationship was cool, like they're not together. But hey, we have a cool relationship for the sake of the children. Mm-hmm. So he's been playing the role. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that they were or, or they were getting along. I'm not a fly on the wall in that situation. But he tried to be the bigger person. Mm-hmm. He tried to be the bigger person. Here's my thing. This is what I heard about why they fell out. They fell out because she asked Russell for money. He gave her money. And she used that money to bail her nigga out of a financial jam that he was in. Mm. So that is what I have the issue with. Bitch, play your fucking cards. Play your fucking role. You know that Russell, first of all, first of all, for the nigga to be giving her a single solitary cent that's not connected to the children, he still love you. Right. Period point blank. He might he might know. He may he might not ever he might not ever fucking he, he realizes that he might not we ever. We gotta remember Russell is a real nigga. 
We gotta remember that first yeah. and foremost. Russell is a real nigga. Okay, but I'm getting pat, but wait. Okay, okay ahead, I don't bad, No, bad, you're bad. fine. Yeah. But I don't think that that's the avenue I'm going here. My yeah. avenue that I'm going in is to simply say that Russell still loves that woman. Mm-hmm. And that's why he always looked out for her. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want your uh I mean, I don't know. No, no, no. Remember, I said nothing. Mom, you don't want your okay. kids' mom be looking, at, you know, being I don't, bad. Bro, it's bad not about my like, kids could be. My he's son been fronting the bill. Jordan's. He's been fronting the bill. He's that. been paying for everything. My son could be in Jordans, my nigga, motherfucking Gucci, all that kind of shit, and she could be in a fucking paper bag, nigga. Give <laughs> a fuck, my nigga. That's on you. That's on you. So I'm gonna make sure my. That's that why I went and got mine. And no, I hear you on that. You know what I'm saying? I that's why I went and got my son because see, I wasn't gonna be that. played with like but that. But stacks. That's what I'm saying. That's what the complaints is coming because they girls. He got two girls. Okay. He got two girls. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's where the complaints is coming from because Russell been lacking in the... the They're the, fucking grown. They're in college. True, true, true. He, he, hasn't, he hasn't supported them in in the the the. the no the time. Emotional All type of shit. Let me tell you something. He, 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 the type, he the type of nigga that's I'm paying for everything and I don't need Let to worry about something. nothing. Mobbin, that's, you can that's agree Russell's with mind this. state. Rob, Mobbin, you can agree with this. A woman got to either deal with a broke man or a busy man. It's kind of the same thing with kids, too, right. to be honest. Of course, kids. They they care more about the time, but at the same but at the same time, bro, like a dad that's fucking grinding, making millions, my nigga, he's not home. Yeah, he's, he's not right. at home. That's why I can't start over. I had a lot of yeah. time back in the day. Our kids damn near the same age. Yeah. So I had a lot of time. If I start over right now, bro, I, I can't. I can't. I'm I out just, here getting I, it, bro. I can't, bro. I can't. I stop. have to go I get just, it. Yeah, I have to. These kids need things and they yeah. expect things yeah, nowadays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he's been covering cheaper. all his expenses. You know what I'm saying? As far as his daughter's going to college and all of that stuff, he covers all of that. But they're looking for the 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 lap time. That's what I think it is. That, that that's no, what I think where Russell was lacking. Well, no, what it is his daughter is, is missing the can, laptop. What it and is really is it's more in their fucking ear. That's and what that it, is. And it's really unfortunate. You feel me? That it's going down like that. But you know, like you said, you feel me? You got to pick your poison. You Come know what on. I mean? That's some real shit. But when, it you, ain't no when way you got you baby girls, have... when you got baby girls, it's the difference. Oh, no, it is, definitely. It is, you feel me? Trust me, I know. You feel me? Got baby girls, Trust me, I know. I got a daughter, feel me? Yeah, yeah, I know, that bro. Part, you feel yeah. me? And that's where, that's why, that's and she why. And she's my oldest. I know about it, you feel me? My nigga, I know that's about why I feel it. like that's where, about, that's where his, mm-hmm. his daughters is coming with the arguments because they, all of the financial stuff has been taken care of, but they lacking on the, hey, baby. Do you think, he missing all of that. That's what they looking for. Do you think, for one second, we all see these TikTok videos, shout out to black fathers, fathers in general, that be with their daughters and they brushing their hair and they, you know, styling them, do their nails and do all that kind of stuff. Do you think for one second, if those niggas had money, if you thought, if these niggas, did you think for one second that if these niggas had money that they would still be doing that? They would find other ways to connect with their daughters. They wouldn't be doing those little things. The little things matter more when you don't have it. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Russell, you Russell was already paid by the time that first child was fucking born. You know what I'm saying? And let's not get it twisted because I'm sure that Kimmy wasn't at home as much either because mm-hmm. she was running a multi-million dollar company too. Mm-hmm. All right. Good point, Stacks. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, all to me, I just feel, listen, it's always my daddy, uh, mama's little boy and daddy's little girl. So, for them two, for them women, to those women, those young ladies to feel slighted by their father after all this success, all this time down the road, when now you grown and now you got graduated from college, right? You know what I'm saying? When you had all of these years to come out and speak out and you ain't do that and all, and, and it's a coincidence that Kamora's pissed off too? No, I don't think so. <laughs> well, see, yeah. Kamora, Kamora just following behind her baby girls. That's what I think. That's just my opinion. Nah, I, I think because so I, I, I watched I mean, a little bit. Of, if, she, if she was upset about him not being in the kid's life, she would have been said that that's years ago. That's what I'm saying. Years that's ago, That's my bro. whole point. I don't understand. I, don't, I really don't understand that's why my whole point. baby mamas and exes and stuff like that be dwelling on BS. And when a dude then moved on, this dude living a whole nother. He think he's living in the Maldives. Whatever that shit called. Bro, he, he ain't gone, yeah, bro. He doing yoga and stuff. Yeah, when people bro. can't control you <laughs> like, the way they want to. I'm out of here. Yeah, when people can't control you the way they want to, then that's when they gonna pull switches and pull strings. I mean, that's just what it is. But listen, let's go to a short break real we, quick. We're not bashing women, by the no, way. No, not at all. I love women. I just think y'all do stupid shit. So listen, we about to go to the um to a break, and we're gonna go ahead and run this music break. Oh yeah, you know you already know it. But look, um, hey, I'm just wrong like that, Marvin. I'm just wrong like that. So we gonna get into some more Marvin 101 music. 
right, okay. Um, make sure if you guys want to hear your music on this platform, then please email me at Cali's Finest Radio One at Gmail. Dot com, all right? Look, it's up, it's stuck, and they never coming down. California's finest radio. I'm just playing, ladies. I love y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just playing, ladies. You gotta give me one heart, though. Let me get to play with me, because that man is... You was posted in your section when I met you. Sent a rose bottle in your direction to impress you. Just said me, Louis Prada. Yeah, I'm all about my dollars. Trip to Europe, Canada, and Guadalajara. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I see you shining my eyes. Yeah, she doing your thing. Pins in your hair like you come from Beijing. You yeah, been on my radar. Yo, I heard you getting paper. Heard you go to college. Little mama, what's your major? You're strong, intelligent. Yeah, she's sassy with the quick wit. Sent up Chanel gloss tips. Tight hips, white collars on the toe tip. Let's jump in the spaceship, let's talk crypto, you know I'm focused on this rich shit. NFT, Shiba, yeah, dodge your line, Mars. Flights to LA, you know we chilling with the stars. Cookie smoke, mobbing, exotic, seeping out the car. Mobbing is a way of life, it'll take you far. All of my life is full of pain. You make me want to stay another day. You in the streets trying to make a way. Tell me, got you jumping out of foreign coops. Tell me who draped you up in that Jimmy Choo. When I did that, being the totem seers, couldn't get bail from my niggas. Little baby, yeah, you got me through that shit. Yeah. Through the politics of adversity and sucker shit, you held it down. You posted it, that you played your position, cause you know that you didn't. When I was riding on the highway, saw berries, and I thought I was over. They know I banged the clover, and made me bear to the shoulder. With the sacrifices of princess, false claims, the sneak disses. Paparazzi and tabloids, yeah, they curious about the missus. Yeah. Man, out to got me thugging. We ballin' the bay from PA, saying no one open. Investing the stocks and bonds, four and ones. I'm talking brokers. Versace backwards, rise you eyes, got a diamond choke. Mommy, you ghetto, I said less than we had low contigo. Vamos, Ruelo, I lost there, Puerto Rico. Although my life is full of pain, you make me wanna stay another day. You in the streets tryna make a way. All your effort, I appreciate. To some people, the sound of a baby babbling doesn't mean much. But that's not necessarily true. By six months, they're combining vowels and consonants. By nine months, they're trying out different kinds of sounds. And by 12 months, their babbling is beginning to take on some meaning. especially if there's no babbling at all. Little to no babbling by 12 months or later is just one of the possible signs of autism in children. Early screening and intervention can make a lifetime of difference and unlock a world of possibilities. Take the first step at AutismSpeaks.org. A public service announcement brought to you by Autism Speaks and the Ad Council. The following is made possible by Dad. Why was the basketball court all wet? Because the players kept dribbling all over it. (laughs) The Dad Joke. Corny, groan-worthy, but also one of the simplest ways to share a moment with your kids. Why do you have to be careful when it's raining cats and dogs? Because you might step in a poodle. (laughs) And kids that spend more time with their dads grow up to be smarter, more successful. Can I tell you a cat joke? Just kidding. (laughs) And with any luck, funnier adults. Why didn't the skeleton go to the dance? Because he didn't have any body to go with. Dad jokes rule. So take a moment to make a moment. 
and give your kid a laugh. It's as easy as going to fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. That's really funny. Thank yeah. you for those unseasoned chicken <laughs> commercials. Man, you're going to get up off of my ad revenue. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we in the spot, man. We got Mobbin 101, Sean Allen in the building, man. Yeah. Party. We are on Power Radio Nation, over 50 platforms around the world, man. And, um, yo, 151,000 listeners can't be wrong, right? Global. That mm. point right there. Google me. Man. Google on. me. Let's go. Mobbin 101. So... I want to go a little bit, I want to go over just the process you've had as an artist in terms of your, you market yourself very well. Appreciate you. I do my homework. You market yourself very well. I want you to give some advice to some of the artists out there that don't have any clue, and you know a lot of them don't have no clue how to market yourself. (laughs) That's why you've been able to grow. You know what I'm saying? Because you know the formula. I've seen it. So just talk. Talk to these artists out here and tell them what they need to do. How did they get started with marketing themselves properly? I mean, shit, first and foremost, man, you got to get your coins up. You feel mm-hmm. me? You know, like anything else, you feel me? You got to spin it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. For the males, you know what I mean? If you can buy weed, For real. you can yeah. buy promo. You yeah, feel shit. me? Ladies, if you can buy a lace front. You can buy. Man, <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, I said so. You That's know, real. you just gotta go ahead and just do it, man. Um, you know, when it come down to the promo, for real, my big thing is, you know, press. You feel me? Yeah. Like anything, you yeah, feel me? Yeah, you know, important. you want to appeal to the masses. You got a lot of people that say, well, you know, I'm making music for myself, but, you know, are you buying your own music? You mm-hmm. feel me? Yeah. I mean, because if that's the case, I mean, you know, so be it. You feel me? But if you got any hopes of anybody else messing with it, you feel me? You want to appeal to the masses. You feel me? So, you know, you want some type of press prior to the song coming out. You want some press when it drop. You want some press after it's out. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. How did you go about starting to get uh, over overseas shows and stuff like that? I mean, of course, I always was a cat that was going overseas, like football. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Oh, School. Okay. You feel me? You yeah. know, rocking in the street. So it was always my thing. Yep. Same thing. Same little formula. Take the whole thing. I'm sitting there looking at the music like, all right, well, you you know, we'll go football. ahead and just take it over there. You've actually mentioned a football career a couple of times. Talk to me about that. Like, where, uh, where did, where, how far did that go for you? Oh, man, overseas with it, you feel me? We played in Mexico City. I played in Europe, you know what I mean? I played one year of arena, you know what I mean, South Carolina. It was proper, okay. you know what I mean? That's you know, up, truth be told, you know, I'm not even really done with it for real, you know. I'm just oh, waiting okay. on the next little situation just to be yeah. right. If I can get one more deal, I'll be content with it. Okay. That's what's up, All man. Right, hey, sure. uh, Sean Alley, what's up? Uh, I know you and uh, Note been in the, in the lab working. Uh, what are you working on? Are you, Coming out with a mixtape, uh, album, or EP. What is it, brother? Sean Allen Music is the Instagram. Um, at this point right now, bro, bro, I'm just trying to figure things out. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things going on in the world. And um, as far as my music goes, I like my music to really be honest to what I'm going through in my lifestyle. So I got to be inspired. Mm-hmm. So um, I've been, you know, as you know, you know what I'm saying, Stacks as well. I've been really slow. I ain't really been putting out nothing because I ain't been inspired. You know what I'm saying? But I've been inspired lately. That's so, what's up, bro. Um, as far as your little brother, he been working, and I can't do nothing without him. You know shout what I'm saying? Note. Yeah, shout out to, to my nigga. State. Yeah, my stack on, <laughs> on everything. So uh, that's really where it's at right now. Um, and my state, he's been feeling inspired. I've been feeling inspired. So um, it's really the inspiration. That's really where it's at Sorry. right now. So Sorry. he's inspired. I'm inspired. And we back in the lab. I heard that. I feel it. I can dig yeah. it. I can dig it. Well, one thing for sure, I, I do know that the impact that you guys are going to leave on the music game is is definitely going to be a positive one. You know, the music is good. Great. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the lyricism, the just the song construction, good. You know what I mean? So... I really feel like um, they both. It's a lot of potential around the table. One hundred percent, man. And the football career, man. The fact that you're able to balance them both, a music career and um, an athletic career, bro. That's very, very impressive. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Appreciate you. You gotta uh, tell these artists they gotta move around. Like that's they gotta great. move around. Man, uh, yeah, got to. I toured and, around, and all man. that, and I when I start touring and going to Atlanta and things like that, uh, uh, get plugs out there. Mm-hmm. Different people want to work with you. They start to call you. They start to move around. 
And a lot of these artists think they gon' because they uh they hot in their city. They they it's cool. But bro moving around, bro, going everywhere. He's Got to. connecting with this person, that person. But you know, like you said, everybody don't everybody don't want to invest in themselves and and move like that, bro. And that's why they don't grow. This nigga right here is doing numbers. It makes a difference. I mean, this this the proof is in the fucking pudding. Did you uh, you, know you already knew the promoters why, uh, through uh, through your travels through foot, with football? Some, some okay. Some, yeah. You know I mean, in the course, you know, I'm related to a lot of cats. Yeah, you know I mean, okay. I was one of those ones. You feel me? I was set back for a minute. You know what I mean? Yeah. Get around, you know. Yeah. And of course, as I'm moving around, make my own connections. You feel me? You know. I'm doing my research, you feel me? I'm right. tapping in again, you feel me? When they sleep, I'm working. When they working, I'm working, you feel me? I'm Nigga. at the conferences. I'm pulling up, you feel me? Where you mm-hmm. at, you feel me? Don't That's drop the low, because I'm pulling up. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Hey, be Shout careful. out to Cali's Finest Radio. I got to say this right now. Man, man, my brother, you shut me up if I say too much. I'm so proud of my nigga right here. Thank you, bro. I done seen this nigga go from nothing to something. And as, man, this is my manager right here. Been managing me from the jump. Man, before I was anything, believed in me, been pushing me from the jump. And this man right here, man, is an ultimate artist. Went from rapping to podcasting. Come on, bro. Hey, come on, bro. Sh- shake my hand one time, man. Come on, nigga. You, All right, so I just have to say that. I'm going to shut up, man. But I'm so good, proud of my bro. brothers right here, man. They've been good. doing this whole thing, man, on God in heaven, bro. This is, you, bro. This is beautiful, bro. I'm done. Yeah, you do that. Uh, but real quick, though. I want to, hold on, because see, this, we got to do the lightning round, right? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go into this last break, mm-hmm. all right? When we come back from the last break, we're going to go through the lightning round. And then, I don't know if y'all feel like it or not, but I figure maybe we throw a beat on it. We get a little loose for about a minute or two. Why not? <laughs> do our motherfucking thing. I know Mobbin likes to get in, so. All right, so you, you ready, Ken, for that last break? Okay, so once again, it's a stack smooth sounds. All right, it's up and stuck, and ain't never coming down. California's finest radio. We'll be right back. Some cool. Got it out, my whip back in the shop My girl tripping cause I was supposed to call and forgot I worked my ass off and still ain't got nothing to show The only thing that keep me going is my love for the dope But every day another problem so I pray to the Lord Seems to me that doing good does the reap a reward So I spark up a blunt, I crack me a brew Let my problems melt away and kick back on my crew But as I get older my heart gets colder Dying on the inside, weight of the world on my shoulders once had a house, but that came to an end Cause moms made some bad decisions when it came to a man But this is now that was then I put it all in the pen Cause a nigga trying to ball without the ball in the rim But I like a lot of these niggas, this ain't the game to me See this is life, this is joy, this shit is pain to me Me and my niggas hurting, our future it ain't for certain How some real spitters gon' make it with everybody jerking This ain't the life for me, I fight to be a sight to see I like the treat to enlighten me, how I got a right to be Yeah, boy. Make plus, you know what I'm saying? Some cool, some smooth. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I'll live infinite, rapping over these instruments. God had a plan from the start. This ain't an incident. So, so I stay on the move. I gotta make progress. I throw a deuce to the haters and tell them God bless. They're not an object. I'm looking right through them. They won't beef. I leap and bring it right to right, them. Yeah. Feel like hitting my deal or go over by an ounce. I'm broke again to keep overdrafting on my account. Mama need cash, saying the rent is behind. Yeah. See, this is why I'm high 90% of the time. I'm just getting by, hustling 9-5. The whip won't work. Now I need a ride. Can't get a break for heaven's sake. Lord, help me. I'm out for presidents to represent me like Chelsea. Huh? Wealthy, cause being broke is unhealthy. Shouts to those who feel me, but love to those who felt me. Oh, love.
has been a teacher for over 40 years. One day, I think one of the students had asked the question and he didn't remember the answer. And I also noticed that he was letting his class out earlier than they were supposed to let out. I was really starting to worry. Levi and I talked about how it would change our lives, but he was there beside me. When something feels different, it could be Alzheimer's. Now is the time to talk. Visit alz.org slash stories to learn more. A message from the Alzheimer's Association and the Ad Council. We back. Oh, shit. Okay, we back. No, we good. We back in the building. So listen, this right here, this is the lightning round. Okay, we're going to have some good conversations. So I, I'm not tripping... Um, you know what I'm saying? But we gonna cause we gonna condense this. So uh, first, I want you guys to watch this video because it's kind of gonna put you in the mindset of what we're doing here. Go ahead, Cam. Cue it up. So listen. All right. So. This right here, this was a prank. So just so y'all know, this wasn't real. Okay? <laughs> but Oh, okay. Okay, but look, oh, check this out though, Marvin. Yeah. When I posted this video on my TikTok, right? People somebody said, you know, they were like, oh, this is, you know, it's a prank, it's fake, you know. I said, Well, damn, I've seen countless videos on YouTube doing shit just like this. And that shit real as can be. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So this shit is really going on. So listen, okay. Woo, woo, woo. Shame on you, female, for what you did. Now, what irritates me is when niggas get done wrong by females and the first thing they do is open their phone and put her on the camera and get to whining into the fucking camera and going back and forth with her on camera. These niggas have embarrassed themselves to the upteenth degree and I am tired of it. I watched this one nigga complain because his girl slept with his cousin. And he is seriously sitting here broadcasting this to the world and asking her, did you really do it? Did you? Really? I, I told you I'm sorry. I, I, no, no, no. Look, hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. She did that shit. She fucked that nigga. It was good, too, huh? It was good, too. Nah, I don't even want to. No, it was good, y'all. It was good. I'm like, nigga, what is wrong with these niggas? Like, what's wrong I'll with you? Yo, stack, 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 stack. So, okay, hold on. Just because this is the first time I'm laying eyes on this. Yeah. So this gentleman right here. This was fake though. This was a prank. Oh, this is. This was my. This was cut for context to let y'all okay. know that this type of shit is really going. Oh, okay, on. okay. But my main gripe. Yes, she's wrong. I bet you a dollar to a donut. She knows she's wrong. Most women know when they do shit like that, it's foul and it's wrong. But what I'm saying to you fellas, I know you hurt. I know, listen, look at me. Come here. Let me talk to you. <laughs> I know you hurt, okay? I know you feel like she done ripped your heart right out your chest. But in that fucking moment, if you ain't never been an alpha a day in your life, that's the first day of the rest of your life. You can choose to say no. You can hey, choose. That's the key word. The key word is alpha. Yes, not but so no, but alpha anybody, men. it's in anybody. It's in anybody. We're talking to men, though. No, hold on. Wait a minute. Let me okay. let me land. All right, all right. It's in anybody. You might sit around and play your video games or, or do whatever it is you do. You're not an athletic nigga. That's cool. But you find some... Get out the house. Go do something for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Find your purpose. Find out what makes you, you. So that way, when you deal with a nothing-ass bitch... Just like a female that would deal with a nothing ass nigga, what she do? Go get her degrees, go get her money up. She don't give a fuck, she'll cry in a bins. Do you understand me? So that's what I'm trying to tell you, fellas, man. Stop embarrassing yourselves on the internet like this. You're not don't ever argue with good. no female. It's a losing situation. No, you can listen. That make you look like a pussy when you argue. Don't with argue. Female. Don't argue, but but by all means debate. Okay. Don't argue, but by all means debate. Stand because your ground as a man. Stand your fucking ground. Yeah. She'll respect you more for that. But then you explain your situation Shit, and tell her what it is. If the that. female gonna keep coming at you, don't argue with it. Don't no, we don't get that. Ladder we, screaming all we're not that. doing that. Yeah, we're, we're not playing. Play play and we damn we show. The situation. And we damn. Yeah. I come from the gener. I come from the generation where they handled that shit a totally different way. That part. I'm not about to argue with no one. They wasn't on no phones. They was making sure there wasn't no cameras around, and that shit was wrong then. But it's a new wrong now to feel like you can go online and you can sit here and nobody cares. You just made this broad viral. You think her DMs was fucking chunky before. After she sees she dealing with a soft nigga like that. 
Nigga, they about to blow her shit up. I'm just speaking facts. Somebody stop me when I facts. Nah, man, it's a lot of soft niggas out here though. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you know, let women run shit like. But, you know, yeah, come on, run bro. relationship, run their life. Hey, any they nigga that shit, argue with a woman, you explain the situation like my bro was saying. You explain, it, you say what it is, and you leave it alone. But don't. No. You don't want to go back and forth. Soft for niggas no. live on happy. Yeah, wife. you're not about to go yeah, back and forth with no wife, female. Like life. this, what it is, leave and you it, leave it alone. I don't like, just, but no, I don't just leave it alone. I start taking shit away. Okay, if it's your shit, then once yeah. You, once you done push, once you done push me to a certain limit, I'm not talking about anything tangible. Of course, I'm talking about my feelings. I'm talking about my effort, my energy, my that part. Time. That part. I start taking things back. That's what I'm saying. Like nothing against, nothing against that. Of course, you got to lay the law down as a man. You got to lay the law down. And then when after you do that. Let me tell you something. Don't get it. Love or not, my I don't care button is just as accessible as a Staples easy button. But just right here. So as soon as you acting crazy, I promise you. Bitch, I don't care. No more. That's Bye-bye. it. That's today. Oh, that's what you doing today? All right, then. So listen, man. I I went on my little rant, man. But I just felt I had to talk to the people. I did. Nah. Thank you, you sir. Yeah. Please is. lay that down. Play you know that down. Somebody yeah. need to hear. Somebody that down, needs back. to hear that shit. So listen, so we're going to go around the table right now. I want everybody to drop their platforms, let them know what they got going on. We're in the twilight of the show. Mobby, man, thank you so much for coming down, bro. I appreciate you. Next time you in town, man, we got to have you back on, bro. I'm not for sure. You carte blanche, my nigga. Anytime you want, bro, let me know. Yeah, you yeah, back down. Know you nah, I appreciate you, family. Off top. You know what I mean? All platforms with it, you feel me? M O B B I N 101. You feel me? Go ahead and Google me, man. You know what I mean? You'll go ahead and get everything. I G. Same thing, you feel me? If you want the full handle, it's Mobba Most Hated, the, the number two at the mm-hmm. end. Mm-hmm. Twitter, Mobba 101 underscore, you know what I mean? Facebook, Mobba 101, you know? Yeah, YouTube, Mobba 101, all together, you feel me? That's what's no up. spaces, man, but we in many places, of course, man. That's we global, fair. we never local unless we need to. That's real. Hey, when you get ready to throw something out here on the West Coast, you call your boy, man. Let's oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I mean, matter of fact, you feel me? We got another performance this weekend. You feel me? You know, it's BET weekend. We ain't yeah. even talking about yeah. that. You feel me? The whole That yeah. part. Hold on. We ain't even talking about out, that. Nigga. You feel me? On, it's BET weekend. You know what I mean? Um, you know, catch me at the Grammy uh, joint. Uh, the Grammy Museum Matter of fact Sunday Okay Sunday okay. is going up You know what I'm talking about oh, Then I know Scar Lip You feel me She got a nice little situation oh, You yeah. feel me yeah. Def Jam party tonight You know what I mean Oh what It's going up Oh yeah We oh, yeah. was at a couple oh, yeah. last year Remember uh, yeah. with Augusta Yeah It's yeah, it a lot of things going on man You feel me That's what's up man That's what's uh, up bro Nice little Sunday. festivities Gotta man. tap in with it Marcus Man, you heard the man. Uh, where is that tonight, bro, bro? Say it again. Um, man, tonight, uh, I know Def Jam got a joint. BT the, Awards. The B, BT, no, the BT Awards is Sunday. Sunday. You feel me? But the B, the House of BT Experience tonight. You okay. Feel me? Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah. Ripped yeah. one way, 9 o'clock. Okay, you know I mean? y'all yeah, heard that. Y'all heard all that. Right. Y'all heard all that's that. His, that's his enough. You need to talk it's about shit. I'm not doing nothing but he doing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Robo really out here getting to it. I so appreciate I'm you, still family. working. You know what I'm saying? I got, mad, I got shit to work. Mad, my nigga yeah. just, my nigga just said though. Y'all heard what it is? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I got shit in the works, man. M A R C U S underscore Allen A L L E N Instagram. Tap in with me. I'm working on some music. I'm just getting tapped in with my management. My bro Stacks over here. Thank y'all, man. Cali's Finest Radio, the finest. Y'all know what it is, so tap in, man. Appreciate y'all, all that, but y'all heard what it is, man. I I ain't got really nothing to pump that much right now, so <laughs> yeah, my you know what I'm saying? But I, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working, that but right when I got too. something to work, I'll be back, and then y'all mm-hmm. hear that. I always I, and I know, so I know people probably inquiring about the shirt, man. It's all on me? camera, Exotic yeah. Exotic Mind Music, man, LLC, man. That part. Y'all can go ahead and Google that, y'all you know talking about. Yeah. Of course, you know, I'm an artist and a CEO, you know what I mean? We got other artists, you feel me, from Canada, for, you know, to the oh, Bay, hey, to Indiana, to Atlanta. If you ever need a platform in California, you to bring them on, bro. Talk to them. Well, that's your man. Y'all hear that? C3, tap in, you know what I'm talking yeah. about? Mailbox. Mailbox out there in Canada, you feel okay. me? Y'all go ahead and tap in, him, you feel me? Canadian we, rapper on man, you feel, yeah. hey, he go crazy too, you feel me? We got a nice little feature out called Pieces to Me, the video out. Right, you feel for me? Sure. Hell yeah. Let's work. Yeah. We, we, go, we working. We working, Marvin. Yeah. We gonna we gonna talk. Yeah. We gonna talk definitely. Shooter. Hell yeah, they know me, the most handsome man on camera. <laughs> in film, my bad. It's uh, you know, it's uh, Bruce Wayne of the film game. It's your boy, respect the shooter. AKA out of town shooter. You can find me on Instagram at Ford Boys Films. That's Ford 
Like the car, BB? boys with an S, films with an S, and as always, Come if on. you're really looking for me, you can find Stop me playing. at your mama house. No, I'm just <laughs> 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 you hashtag your girlfriend knows my real name. That part right there. All right. Fantastic show. Um, I like to thank everybody that came out. You know what I'm saying? And just remember, man, you gotta be you. No matter what the fuck. We really got we really started. I've been cutting them off all day and I'm gonna keep doing it. Shouts out to my nigga Stax. The finest. Come on, man. Yeah, you. I'm taking it today. I'm doing <laughs> it today. I'm doing it today. I'm doing it today. I'm doing it today. It's fine. Come on, bro. How, come on. It's Kelly. <laughs> Don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare. Bye, Stacy <laughs> County. Y'all have a great night. We love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Have a good night. Yeah. And never forget. That you attempted with the greatest. The greatest. The best. The best. The finest radio finest you will ever come radio. in contact with itself is stuck. And they never coming down. California's finest radio. West Coast, nigga, we gone. Ugh. <laughs> Seven off time, we can get it on.